So I'm lost. <laughs> like, I, I generally know what to do, but I can't figure out how to do it without the hook shot. Oh, gotcha. So we just need to find the hook shot. Yeah. Okay. It's. I, uh, er, well, we, it's fine. We could just goof around. Because I need. See how there's water falling from that doorway up yeah. there straight ahead? I need it to go down the stairs to where I'm standing, oh. and then through this door. So there must be a way to do it. Yeah. You see the button above me? Yeah. It's kind of like the switches I keep hanging on. We should probably explain this on the... I suppose, yeah. Okay. Okay. Howdy, hey! This is Frackbox, and I'm here with True Blue Blur. Long time no see. So, uh, you were telling me what we needed to do. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, maybe, maybe that's how you do it? Maybe. Because you were talking about how you need to get that. Yeah, so the, the water flowing from that doorway, I needed to flow down the stairs into the opposite doorway down here. Right. And I can't, um, activate the switch yet because... I don't have the hook shot, or the claw shot in this game, I guess. Right. Um, I have to hang from that thing with the claw shot. Hmm. But I didn't notice that door down there until just now. Or this switch? No, that switch I've used a few times. So oh, I'm going to okay. actually go around it. Oh. Oh, I can't get to that door yet, because the water's not quite high enough. Hmm. All right. So the only thing I can get to is this red rupee. <laughs> Which we can't use. Nope, I have a full wallet. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, right. in in the last episode, I promised that I'd tell you the drunkest I was I was ever. You did. It's As not it's not fact. like a super great story or anything. So I I uh, I have I have fooled you. <laughs> it is it is a uh, as they say clickbait in. Um, oh no. Yeah. Anyway, no. But uh, no, like the, the the time I was the most drunk, I think I was like twenty five. Mm hmm. Or 26. And uh, I had three liters of wine. I see. From like, uh, that was the start of it. Uh, so three liters of wine from 7-Eleven. Okay. Uh, like red wine. Like this really good blackberry wine. And uh, I, I, I like wine. Um, <laughs> yeah. By the way, I don't condone underage drinking. I, um, that's definitely yeah. for the best. Also, I probably don't, I don't really recommend drinking either since I don't <laughs> actually drink now anymore. Yeah. Um, but, uh, three liters of wine and then like seven or eight shots of various things like vodka and maybe fireball, I think. Okay. Um, I don't really like fireball that much, but my friends had it. Then I had maybe like five or six, maybe seven beers. <laughs> okay. A combination of like Pabst and Rolling Rock <laughs> or something. All um, right. and then I think... My friends also had another. Oh, I was hoping it would stop there. <laughs> also had another like liter of wine that they were using, and I had some of that as well. So I was pretty drunk. Gotcha. Um, there's not really a, a story to go around that. <laughs> I was just really drunk, and I was cognizant at the time, so I, I was fully aware. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. I actually, <laughs> I uh, I woke up still drunk. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a heavy drinker back then. Uh, actually, waking up drunk was one of the best feelings in the world. But I don't recommend it because if you wake up drunk, you're probably su you might suffer from alcohol poisoning. Man. That's that's not a good thing to do. Um, because if you drink enough to wake up and still be drunk, um, you, you got to have a really high like not high tolerance, <laughs> but like your body has to be like you know made to process alcohol basically <laughs> yeah. um i mean i didn't drink enough to like get me alcohol poisoning because i was like a really big guy mm -hmm. back then gotcha so yeah don't don't drink that much kids no kidding <laughs> it's no kidding <laughs> and uh, don't try to wake up drunk um jeez yeah yeah no i not that i tried or anything um it's not worth it most, uh, yeah, most, most stories of, of getting drunk end, end with, uh, not, not good times. Right, so it's true. I, I was just lucky that I was really, like, I don't know, like, even, even when I was drunk, I was still able to, like, make good decisions and stuff. Like, I was, it was really, I wasn't dumb. <laughs> like, I don't know, like. Just depends on the person. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but, uh. 
anyway, that's that's my story. <laughs> uh, All right. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still surprised you've never you never drank though. Uh, it's probably I mean it's for the best, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just you know, not something I ever had any need for or interest in, and, and uh, it isn't like I. I don't have, like, this opinion of it being evil or anything. Yeah. You know, it's just nothing like that. It's just not for me. I, I get... I have a, a bit of an addictive personality. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you I'm, told I'm me concerned. about that. I'm concerned that I would get hopelessly hooked. Yeah, there's there's got to be something we're missing in this dungeon. Cause... Well, now I need... I'm, I'm going to try to go through... The, uh, basically let me we, go to the map real quick. Because as you said, we've basically just been switching back and forth. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So now um, there's, there's an area I haven't been to in here yet. Mm -hmm. So I want to go in that room. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised we didn't do that before. I, I changed some things and water is moving now. So I can probably do oh. more than I could the first time. Um, gotcha. I, gotta, I, I can't remember how to get the pathway there. <laughs> I can get to it on the upper floor. Which is what I did to get the water moving. Oh. But I gotta get the lower floor. And I've done it once before and I gotta try and remember how. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, we got there to begin with somehow. Yeah. So. So. I There's go gotta, upstairs. There's gotta be a way. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I've if you got go to the right, here. perhaps? Yeah. I th yeah, I that's, think that's, yeah, we're thinking the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what I gotta do. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. I thought it was gonna, like, literally jump straight past it it's it's happened <laughs> it's, it's pretty irritating okay there we go that's what i wanted as we spend the next uh, 30 episodes of this <laughs> let's play in the uh the water dungeon i, th yeah. I think at this point that guy's just glad to see us i know right <laughs> <laughs> you know uh you know familiarity breeds uh Okay, so more familiarity. Oh, that's moving. That's what I needed. Ah, that's the change that happened. We had to get the carousel going. Yeah. Okay, so you might have to like. Is that door gonna open? Just yeah. by asking nicely. Yeah. It, it does. A little bit of man. There's a there's a face above the door. There is, in fact. Maybe do you have to shoot a bomb in there or something? I'm not sure. I'm gonna look around before I use a bomb. Yeah. Oh, oh how, hey. about, how about that? I wonder what this is. It's a key. Oh, good. Keys are always good. I like how when he was looking at the key, he he was smiling and then instantly changed to a frown when he put the key away. Yeah, it's because of the danger. <laughs> the danger oh what is that movie oh you just reminded me of something it's <laughs> oh, like yeah? it's like this movie put out by this this like mormon company oh gotcha call, like this mormon movie company like for kids it's called like uh the seventh brother or something it's about like this dog that like accidentally gets lost off a highway or something gets I adopted see. by a family of like rabbits out in the wilderness and it's kind of a musical almost, but it's really sappy. And Interesting. My my friend uh, Rebecca uh, up in up in Beaverton, she apparently had this movie. Oh really? And she's like, she's not Mormon or anything. She just had this movie. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it funnier. Honestly. So we watched it, and during some of the sappy parts, she's sitting there just like crying because it's it's kind of sad actually, and I'm just sitting there laughing. Oh no! Because of how sappy it is. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! But if if you ever seen that movie, The Seventh Brother, um, it, it, it it's it's yeah. it's a good it, it's an okay kids movie. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's there's nothing inherently offensive about it. Well, that's definitely so, good. You know, at the very least. But I forget. I think it's like the Seventh Brother or something. <laughs> it's like a whole family of rabbits that like adopt this dog. Okay. And like hijinks ensue. Of course. But the thing that reminded me of it is that like the rabbits sing a song about danger. Oh boy! And because so, like any threat that they have to run away for is, is just they refer to it as danger. Okay. And uh, I was like, the danger is gonna get you, or something like that. <laughs> okay. And um, <laughs> there's this there's this one scene in the movie where um, like the one of the elder rabbit brothers, like the one that's a little more cocky, and and uh, he's like the eldest brother or something. 
Um, he's out in the middle of a field. He's being chased by like a hawk or something. Okay. And just the prolonged, like the talons of the hawk. <laughs> like it just takes so long for the hawk to like target the rabbit. And like the claws like grow longer <laughs> as he's chasing after. It just, it oh, just no. zooms in after the rabbit. And, it, and then it zooms to the rabbit. And he's like running and looking back behind him and looking afraid. <laughs> And then it zooms to the other rabbits, like, in the hedge. They're like, they're like, run, run! And it's just, it's supposed to be scary, but, like, the way that it's shot just looks super, like, campy, almost. Oh, no. It's, I don't know, I find it hilarious. <laughs> but just the talons, like, prolonged, and it just shoots several shots of the talons growing. <laughs> it's yeah. so... Oh, man. It's almost worth a watch as an adult be honest <laughs> i mean i certainly watched it with my friend rebecca yeah <laughs> Cause, um but it's a sappy kids movie basically right yeah um and a lot of the sadness obviously comes from the fact that like the little girl and her grandpa like are like looking for this dog mm -hmm. and the sadness you know right yeah it's, you know oh oh cutscene time this leads somewhere Whoa. Okay, I guess it just thrust you forward. It d it did. <laughs> you ran into a random current that started and ended just there. Right. Um. All right. Swimity swimity. I. Oh, it's a boss fight. Ah. Ah, uh, yes. It's got to be a boss fight. Oh, little tadpole things. Explodey tadpole things. If I were a betting man, I would bet that it's boss fight time. But that's just me. Anything on the ceiling? I know that a lot that some boss fights in, in the Zelda. Yep. There yeah. It is. Yeah. Boss fights in the Zelda universe start with looking up. That was definitely a thing in Ocarina of Time. Uh, it's a farg. <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah, that is a farg. Is it going to show the name? Uh, maybe I it's friendly. Know. No, it's not. Oh. Those things are the explodey tadpoles. Um, you're not a very responsible mother, um, Madam Farg. <laughs> <laughs> um, sicking your children on uh, this this person. Unless, oh, um, okay, where did the frog jump I, to? I think maybe I need my combo again. Maybe. Woo! Hi! Oh, jeez! Uh, I think that's a target. Oh, no, it's a tongue. <laughs> it's, a, it's a both. Oh, this is going to be an easy boss fight. It's a target tongue. Maybe... I wonder what happens if you bomb the cheeks. Huh, I wonder how useful this would be. Not ah, very. yeah, no, no, not at all. So, I, it's interesting how the, the frog just sits there. You think, like, if you came close, it would, the frog would just, uh, like, like swipe at you or something. Yeah, he, he, she, or she, I assume, since it has eggs, totally just lets me by. I mean, it could, could be, could be a male. You never know. I mean, look at seahorses. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what frogs' biology, like, I don't know if it's common. No, I think it's... It's pretty much the females that, that just carry it on the back, right? Um, one thing I do know for sure is that thanks to Jurassic Park, ooh, I know oh. that they can change genders potentially depending on how desperate their situation is. Yeah, that's actually fairly common in the animal kingdom. I know that there's a lot of species of amphibians and fish that do that. Yeah. Um. Man, you just have a lot of eggs, don't you? Yeah, um, I mean, oh, that reminds me of, remember that, that comic I told you about, Order of the Stick? Uh, yes, yeah. actually. So there's, there's a, fr uh, there was a, a, a one-liner, um, for that comic. Uh, there was this, um, this random NPC couple, apparently. Uh -huh. Um, so in Dungeons and Dragons, there's, uh, NPC, like, classes that NPCs can take. Uh-oh. Oh, oh you dead. So, um... Like, that because, wasn't so fun. Because basically, like, in D&D in 3.5, uh, 
the characters you're playing are basically superheroes. Oh, whoops. You're, you're meant to be more powerful. And so yeah. there's classes that the NPCs have that, like, a normal person would basically be that powerful, right? Yeah, okay. So there were these NPCs in this comic um, that were uh, basically just regular guards or whatever. Uh-huh. And I guess they got married, these 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 two. Okay. And they ended up, like, like, having a kid. But while the woman was, was pregnant... Um, some ninjas attacked or something. Oh, jeez. I, I forget exactly what it was. And she said this line, um, why should I worry about killing people when I can just make more? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or something All right. like the, 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 um, Get off me. the idea of killing people while pregnant was brought up or something. I forget exactly what the context of the joke was, <laughs> but it was like this, that was the one liner essentially. Oh. I haven't been quick enough to do that previously. Oh. But this time I was prepared. Oh, did that do it? It I, did! I, I think... Look at that! I think that just about did it. You have destroyed the tongue? Oh. Oh, was that the thing making it evil? Oh, no, that no, was... No, it's it. just a thing that it ate. That was its soul. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure this is our uh, claw shot, please? Yeah. Nice. Now we can progress in the dungeon. Very, very nice. I'm happy to have that. So, uh, with that, with the promise of an excellent, um, expedient dungeon adventure, <laughs> yes. we should probably call the episode here. All right. So, alas, this is Frackbox. This is True Blue Blur. Havest thou a great day. <laughs> Keepest running fastest. <laughs> does he say that in in um does sonic make any sort of reference to gotta go fast but in like a medieval way in sonic and the in the black knight in the black knight uh not not really no okay. and honestly though that that line's never really been in any of the games oh gotcha okay it's, it's just a fan oh thing. it's just a fan okay gotcha yeah. okay okay ending the episode now for reals yeah <laughs>